possesses a common house plant also known as devil's ivy or money plant thanks to the heart or round shapes of its leaves. Back in 2017 I got this cutting from a normally grown plant. Cut it into two parts and root both cuttings into cups with water. I move the rooted cuttings into aquariums. Initially I keep all leaves above water allowing roots to grow fully submerged. I let one plant grow with all leaves above the water. The other plant has only one leaf growing above the water. New leaves start growing under water on this plant. The plant with submerged leaves grows slower than the plant exposed to air. Nevertheless, it grows and needs to be trimmed to keep it under water. I cut the stem into two parts making each part with roots. The top part looks nicer. I fully submerged this process under water in August 2017. Here is the same plant in the March 2018. You can see all this with more details in my previous video. Check links in the description to the video. June 4, 2018. I put new cuttings of process into a nursery with seed shrimp and algae. This cutting has leaves, but does not have roots. And this cutting has roots and only one new sprout coming out. So there are no leaves on this cutting. And I fully submerged this cutting. Would it grow under water? Here is the same nursery three weeks later on June 22nd. Yes, it grows. Six months later on January 22nd, 2019, I disassembled this nursery to make room for new projects. Remove stems, clean up roots of both plants and trim them shorter. Both posses go into a new nursery. Once again I keep them fully submerged. There are some young guppies, snails, land moss and some other plants and creatures of my interest. It looks beautiful. March 11, 2019. A new leaf grows as the old leaf wilts. May 5, 2019. It looks like the plant made it through the short winter days. And the second cutting that I thought was lost is getting new sprouts too. About a month later, on June 11, two guppy fry were born. The parents also were born and grew up in aquarium with possas growing underwater. That is how the new possas leaf looks after about two months on July 2nd. And that is how both possas look on July 8th. Slow but noticeable progress through the longer summer days compared to no growth through the winter. And the new guppy fry are doing fine. Three days later, on July 11th, a new leaf opens. And there is another leaf a month later on August 8th. All my aquariums with fish, including this one with possess plants, get only indirect sunlight coming from the south window you can see here. I suppose the possess would grow better under water with more light. On August 11th I move both possess with fish, there are more babies now, and other plants into a large aquarium. I trim the roots of both possess and use a seashell to sink both plants. Here you can see the new aquarium fully assembled. This aquarium provides more space for the plants to grow and hopefully it will serve well through the next winter. Have fun and happy aquariums!